Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys our next build. So we've got our engine all torn apart. So this is a Mopar 360. And I know what you're thinking. Why? Why not LS? And the reason for that is because we don't want to follow trends. We want to set the trends, right? We want to fly our own flag. We don't need to follow what everybody else is doing. Everybody and their grandmother has an LS. How many people have a small block Mopar? Now we're definitely going to have to send this engine block out to get hot tanked because this thing not only does it have oil, dirt, crust, it's got this rust crust that's inside. Oh, it's nasty. Yeah, that's not that's not coming out with soap and water. So here's the deal with this engine. So if we're going to go through the trouble of ripping it apart, which we already have, breaking stuff, which we already have, then we're going to build it. And I mean build it. So what we want to do here is we're going to build a stroker motor is what we're going to do. Make some power down low. Now behind every build is always a budget. So we don't have unlimited money to use here. That being said, there's a lot of pieces that are missing and there's a lot of stuff that can be improved upon, right? The heads, we're going to have to stick with those because new ones are a bit too expensive. $1,600 expensive. Because we're going to be going with a stroker kit, we're going to need different pistons and rods. We might go with hyper eutectic pistons or maybe just some good cast irons. I'm still not sure. Other than that, it's just little things, little annoying little things that we gotta fix. Pieces that are missing. First obvious thing is these valve covers. Not in the best shape. Second little thing is our oil pan. If you look underneath, which I can't really get under there, it's all smashed in. So at first glance, the heads don't look that bad. They don't look abused or cracked in any shape or form. But then when we look underneath, yep, they're not too pretty, but they can be cleaned up. This is just gak. It's stuck in there. It's like rust flakes or something. Probably gonna need new valves, valve seats, valve job. So yeah, our distributor didn't have a cap on it. So I saw rusty and crusty, and that's not gonna work for us. Gaskets, obviously. Our cam actually is pretty nice, but I have no idea how it sounds. So I uh, will save it for later, but I'm gonna get a nice lopy cam for it. Gotta get that. Chop, chop, chop. Blip, 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 blip. Anyways, so as of right now, that's basically the plan, but plans are always changing. So we'll see what happens. And it's gonna take some time. Money doesn't grow on trees. If you wanna follow the build, make sure you stay posted and give us a follow. That's all we got for today. We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.